Hey everyone, it's Tim once again, and we're into the next video for this series. Today we're going to talk about potassium phosphate. It is responsible or utilized in the human body in the nerve, brain, muscles, and blood. It comes into play most often in exhaustion, insomnia, and it's probably the single most profound tissue salt when it comes to behavioral issues. And I literally mean most profound. So when we, we know it's a phosphate, all phosphates are brain and nerve nutrients, but there's nothing more powerful than potassium phosphate when it comes to resolving behavioral issues, generalized behavioral issues. The list of behavioral symptomology or correlations is going to sound a lot the same uh, and that's why I tend to put all of the phosphates together in single formulas uh, if you're ever going to go to a compounding uh, homeopathic pharmacist and have tissue salts made and you want it to resolve behaviors combine all of the five phosphates but let's get into this into this and I actually have the wrong picture up here to begin with now this is not a fear of fear, a fair uh, depiction of a potassium phosphate deficiency. In potassium phosphate, what you'll see is an indent. This is highly exaggerated because she has recessed eyes. You can see the indent right here. Oops. Right here. And right here. You see this little in inward concavement here and here this is a very exaggerated uh, symptom of a potassium phosphate deficiency uh, along with that will come facial rows and you're seeing some of the redness around her face here uh, a loss of hair in the just in the forehead the, the front of the forehead the front of the hairline I should say sorry uh, hyperhidrosis is somebody who sweats a lot. You see she's already shiny. Uh, and I don't like to get into this stuff. Somebody mentioned it to me today, so I'm going to bring it up again. I'm going to bring it up and mention it in this one. And that's that people with a potassium phosphate deficiency will sometimes, and it's not even very often, but sometimes have a brown coating on their tongue as well. Those are the vanity issues. The vanity issues are the facial signs, so we've just listed them. The main facial indicator is the indents at the temples. And here's another case of it, and I hope that you can see it. I think I have this blown up as much as I can. There's an indent right here, there's an indent right here, and I wonder if I can do this on the fly. Let's just try to, because I'm actually doing this in Photoshop, so let's see if I can take some of the highlights out here. I know you're seeing a different screen. Actually that helps a lot so we'll just do that. Okay so now you can see it. Here we go we have an indent here and the indent out here at the temples. Those indents are the greatest depiction of a potassium phosphate deficiency. So now again we're seeing the facial rows going on. She's not looking very sweaty, however. Her hairline is a bit high, however. Uh, we, we can't see her tongue, and that's really not that common, but it is listed as an indication. I don't check people's tongues. I'm just not into it. Uh, never have, never will. Uh, but it is a listed indication, and somebody brought it up today, so I thought I would mention it. So let's get into the behavioral issues because that's a long list. Actually, before we do that, let me show you somebody without it. Here, you see, no indents whatsoever here. Nothing. No potassium phosphate deficiency going on here. There's a bit of rose here, but uh, if you look, you'll see other phosphate deficiencies. Specifically, in, in this gal, you're going to find an iron phosphate and I believe a sodium phosphate deficiency. Yes, so, sodium phosphate. They, they will lend to that as well. So no indents here, no potassium phosphate deficiency. So let's get back and we'll talk
talk about now. This gal has made such incredible improvements, and I've talked about her recently, who where she wrote a long post about being off all of her medicines. This is her original photo, the original photo that she submitted for analysis. Uh, but let's talk about the behavior uh, behavioral aspects of a potassium phosphate deficiency. I'm not saying that they're all linked to her, and I'm not saying that somebody has to have every one of these. Uh, correlations or symptoms or indicators of a deficiency either. Again, I, I say it in every video, you got about five across the health, vanity, and behave, you need to start taking it seriously. So, once again, a person with a potassium phosphate deficiency will, be, will likely be prone to addiction, have all types of phobias, including claustrophobia, will suffer from exhaustion, which may not really be a behavioral issue, but uh, brain fog, suffer from depression, they will be demanding, easily excited, they will fear, have a fear of failure, another another uh, tissue salt that has a correlation to hypochondria, uh, people who just believe, always believe they're sick, uh, they'll be impatient, they'll have an inferiority complex, they'll lack initiative. They'll have chronic irritability, so they'll always the type of person who's always irritable. They'll find no joy in life, or find, struggle to find joy in life. Uh, in children, they'll be slow learners as well, so they may not excel with the other kids. Uh, lots of nervousness. Uh, we talked about depression, but there's nervousness as well. When you think about anxiety and how it presents itself. Sometimes it's in the stomach, sometimes it's in the chest, sometimes it's in the head. Uh, nervous cramps, nervous heart, nervous inflammation. All uh, have correlations to a sodium phosphate, no potassium phosphate deficiency, I'm sorry. Um, always seeking reassurance. Somebody who will be prone to sleepwalking a high sensitivity to sound so again we're talking about something that will would be a part of any treatment for sensory processing disorder as well or disorders as well uh, they'll lack restraint they'll be moody they'll be under a chronic state of stress uh, and they will be one of those people who are generally a chronic complainer uh, now let's go to the health issues under the health issues, we have balance issues, uh, vertigo, but typically when that occurs, it's accompanied by vomiting. So it's almost like motion sickness. So the vertigo becomes so bad, it becomes motion sickness. Uh, vomiting will take place. Uh, muscular atrophy in multiple sclerosis, MS, it's very, it works very well in aiding with some of the symptoms. Immunodeficiencies, a lower suppressed immune system that not, that's not functioning very well. Inflammation of the gums inside the mouth, which then leads to halitosis and chronic bad breath. Uh, I talked about iron phosphate before and never to use it during a fever. Potassium phosphate is the one you reach for when there is a fever. Chronic fatigue, which I already mentioned and I shouldn't have mentioned in the other, it, with, the, with the behaviors. Cataracts, once again. So understand that a lot of these indicators or correlations can be crossed through a bunch of different minerals and you need to identify which ones. That's why the facial signs got, become so important, as well as hands-on and physical testing. Uh, high blood pressure, cataracts I already said, goiter, halitosis I've said. Uh, in seniors with a who ha are having heart issues, slow and just aged heart, and they're just thinking it's going to wear out. Potassium phosphate, asthma, urinary incont incontinence, and peptic ulcers. So I, I am reading off a little list to make sure I don't miss a few things because I know how quick so many of you are to jump all over me and ask me a million questions. I thought I'd make a list this time and run by it. Do it that way. That way I made sure nothing was forgotten and everything was covered. But anyway. So we have covered everything. We have the vanity, the health, the behave. Let's take one more look. This individual has recessed eyes, which is 
obvious by the amount of upper eyelid that is seen. We're seeing the concaved sides to the face here. Now, this is extreme, but it's extreme because of the, the uh, recessed eyes. So we'll go to a fairly normal or generalized one. You can see an indent here, and you can see an indent here. This isn't nearly as severe, and I see much worse than this. Uh, but you, you can see, if you look closely, hopefully it can be seen in the video. And then we see no indents whatsoever outside the corners of her eyes. So that's it, folks. That is potassium phosphate. Bye-bye.